Okay, picture this. You're cruising through the galaxy at warp speed, and you stumble across a red dwarf star called GJ3323. Sounds like a Star Trek episode, right? But this star is very real, and it's only about 17 light years away from Earth, which in cosmic terms is basically our next door neighbor. Now GJ3323 isn't your average sun, it's way cooler, literally. It's a red dwarf, so it burns at a much lower temperature and glows with a soft, reddish light. If you could stand on a planet nearby, the sky would look totally alien, with a dim red sun instead of our bright yellow one. But here's where it gets really exciting. GJ3323 has not one, but two exoplanets orbiting it. Scientists call them GJ3323b and GJ3323c. And get this, one of them, GJ3323b, is right smack in the habitable zone. That means in theory it could have the right conditions for liquid water, I mean who knows, maybe there's a Vulcan or two hanging out there waiting for first contact. Live long and prosper, right? Now, these planets are what we call super-Earths. They're bigger than our planet but smaller than Neptune. GJ3323b orbits really close to its star, so close, a year there lasts just over five days. Imagine celebrating your birthday every week. GJ3323c is a bit farther out but still way closer than any of our solar system's planets are to the Sun. So, why should you care about GJ3323? Well, red dwarfs like this are the most common stars in our galaxy. If we ever want to boldly go where no one has gone before, these are the kinds of systems we'll be exploring first. Who knows what we'll find? If you think space is as awesome as I do, hit that like button, subscribe for more cosmic adventures and drop your favorite Star Trek quote in the comments. Until next time, keep looking up, because the universe is way cooler than science fiction.